Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are going to talk about our budget for Great Wolf Lodge. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jordan. We love doing cash stuffings on this channel. We also love talking about our budget. This week I am sharing a little bit of like vacation vlogs and vacation prep and packing because that's something we're doing this week. So sometimes we are a little off course of budgeting, but for the most part, this is a budgeting channel. We would love to have you as a part of our budget fam if any of that interests you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning again. I love having you as a part of the budget fam and sharing my budget journey with you. Today's video is going to be filmed in two parts. So I have not yet left for my trip. I'm sharing with you guys how I'm going to prep and prepare and how we've been budgeting out this trip. We are going with a low budget. So what I am going to be doing is sharing with you guys, like I said, a little bit of pre-trip planning and how I'm going to budget this. And then the middle of this video-ish, we will switch over and you will see future Jordan. And I will talk about how our budget went, what we overspent on, what we saved money on, and we'll talk, you know, so we're talking through the entire pre-planning, and post planning of our budget for this trip. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me share with you guys first, if you haven't seen this yet, this is something that was in my cash budgeting shop. This is a cash budgeting channel. Keep an eye on the channel because something very, very similar is going to launch within a couple of days of you guys seeing this video. So anyway, what we have been doing before we get to this card, let me just share. We have been planning and budgeting all of this money for preparation trip needs. We have some transportation, which is going to go towards gas for this trip. We have some lodging money that we've been saving. Now I want to tell you guys, if you didn't see my other videos, I am a cash budgeter through and through. I love to cash budget for literally everything, except for on trips, I don't like to bring the cash with me. I feel comfortable with cash in my hometown, but for whatever reason, when I'm going on a trip, I don't like having a cash binder with me. So what I do is I put all of this money in the bank and then I just keep track of what I was saving money towards and how much I have allotted for that category, which is how this sheet is gonna come into play. So if you are a cash budgeter and you want to cash budget on trips, that's great. You can keep doing that. Just bring your budget binder with you. You have all of your money separated out so you know how much you can spend on each thing or like you know what your ideal budget is. Basically what I'm doing though is all this money is going to the bank and I will just be transferring the information to this one sheet. So this money will be in the bank. I'm gonna know how much money I have in each category and then I can track it accordingly on this sheet. So right now what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and count the money that we have and transfer the information over here. I think this sheet is fun too because I'm gonna be able to keep this for future trip information. So I wrote Great Wolf Lodge on it. We are going to write how much money we have and then we're actually gonna write how much we ended up spending throughout the course of the trip. And then next time I go to Great Wolf Lodge, I'll easily be able to pull this little tracker out and I will know, okay, we didn't have enough Food, food money or we didn't have enough shopping money or whatever the case may be. I can write some little budget notes to myself and this is all I really need to hang on to to be prepared for future trips. Okay, so with that being said, we did not prepare like up to our goal. We should have $80 here. The goal for preparation was $120. I'm going to write up here what our intended goals were. Then we're gonna count all of our cash and we are short a little bit for this trip. I am not somebody who typically would put money on the credit cards. I like to be fully prepared for a trip. Y'all know though, if you've been watching, that this trip was so last minute. Like literally, I think I planned and prepped for maybe a month, if even that, for this trip. So there was just, I don't know. I. <laughs> I'll be better prepared next time and we won't be having any money on the credit card. We got very close to all of our goals, I will say, but I do expect to be putting a little bit of money on credit cards and then paying ourselves back over these next couple of weeks. Let's see how much money we are putting in the bank and that we have to spend on this trip. I did already pay for most of the hotel stay. I only needed to save another 120 for the hotel and the rest of the portion is what my parents need to pay because uh, we split the hotel room evenly and I already paid 
the down payment for the hotel so there is a purple card in future trips i might need to use that for this one it just it can be like a rollover spot for a category while we're on the trip 50 150 250 300 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 80 500 20 40 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 605, 10. We saved 610. I'm sure that was a much cuter way that I could have written that in there. So we are starting out the trip $220 short of what I think we are going to spend total. To give you guys an example of how we're going to use this, and then like I said, pretty soon you're going to see future me with the card actually filled out. But for preparation, we did already spend on food or snacks that we're bringing to the room, and then I spent $40 on swimsuits for the boys. So this is how I'm going to be filling out this card during our trip i'm just going to have this in my purse and then as we spend money on say we're going to get some gas probably tonight i'll go ahead and write gas right there for lodging i will be paying as we check in i'll be paying the the rest of what i owe and same thing so that is it for right now in just a second we're going to switch over and i'll show you guys the filled out card and what we actually spent on this trip to Great Wolf Lodge. Hey guys, I am back. This is me after the trip. Happy Halloween if you celebrate and if you're watching on the date that this goes live. I do want to come back and share that during the trip, I pulled you guys, you said you wanted this back in the shop. You did not want these limes to be limited edition. So here it is. They are back in stock. I am sorry if you wanted it before now and it was because it was unavailable for a little while, but it is back in the shop so I'm going to come out with a video really diving into what I spent where I mean we're gonna talk about it in this video but if you're looking for a video on like things I wish I would have done ways I could have saved money that video is coming out very soon I mostly today want to share how I used the tracker the overall of what I spent money on and then what I wish I would have done with this binder during the trip because I ended up just leaving it at home. So first, let me say Great Wolf Lodge is a cashless business. Like they don't take cash anymore. So earlier in this video, I probably said, you know, I'm not somebody that likes to travel with cash. Well, for Great Wolf Lodge, it was not an option anyway. I did not know that until being on the trip, but I'm happy that I set things up the way that I did. So let's jump into the budget and then we'll talk about in a second what I wish I would have done with the binder, even though it didn't have cash in it. So Great Wolf Lodge, I went to October of 2022. I had set goals of how much I wanted to spend for each category. Again, this is in my shop. This is sort of the tracking page where I was able to write everything. These were the saving cards where I was saving cash in preparation for the trip. I, I hope I already explained it at the start of this video. If I did not, please feel free to leave a comment and we can discuss the cards and things a little bit more. I had an overall budget goal of staying between $1,000 to $1,200. I wrote that in my little note section on this card. And then I had goals of how much I wanted to spend in each category. So preparation for the trip, my goal was $120. I ended up spending $110. That was on some food to save me food money during the trip, which lifesaver guys, we only ate at Great Wolf Lodge or out once a day while we were there. So this completely revolutionized and saved my food budget, if you will. Swimming for the boys. I got the boys an extra swimsuit. They only had one. Now that I've been on the trip, I we could have easily gotten away with just the one swimsuit that they already had. No big deal. They now have extra swimsuits. That is perfectly fine. But I stayed within my goal of 120. I spent 110 on preparation needs. Transportation, I had the goal of 160. We were driving to Great Wolf Lodge. We ended up spending 133 on gas gas along the way. It looks like I needed a lot. I needed $123 in gas and then there is $10 budgeted in here because we spent $10 at the gas station on candy and coffee on the trip back. So we stayed within budget on that one. Lodging, we did stay at Great Wolf Lodge for three nights. I paid $700 upon booking and then upon arrival I paid $416 and then my mom gave me back so I kind of credited myself here my mom gave me $560 for her portions of the room we stayed in a 
premium room. It was basically two separate bedrooms with a shared living room. I thought that was such a perfect setup. So her portion looks like she paid a little bit more than I did. She paid 560 for three nights. I paid $556 for my boy's room and my room for three nights. So for food, guys, I had budgeted $250. I know us and food is always our big spender. We had one meal at Great Wolf Lodge for $35, and that was for me and both the boys, and then another meal at Great Wolf Lodge was $51 because I also bought my mom's meal, so for four meals for $51, I did not think that was that bad. Again, we're gonna talk about all the details of what exactly we bought in another video, but I'm just giving you guys the rough breakdown. We did eat Longhorns one of the nights. Again, we only like ate out of the room one time, one time per day. So the other night we ate at Longhorns. My dad paid $100 towards that bill. I paid $44 towards that bill. That was my mom's birthday dinner. So my dad wanted to pay all of it, but I really insisted on chipping in. So we kind of fought over that one. Y'all know how it is. Dunkin' for myself whenever we first got there, and then I bought a Dunkin' reusable cup for the rest of the trip for $15, and I we bought McDonald's on the way home. I bought ice cream for $11 for the boys one night when, when Atlas was like completely melting down, and he needed to pick me up, so I was like, okay, <laughs> ice cream for the boys because we're gonna keep going. Candy for the boys, there's a candy shop there, and then I think I've mentioned everything except for McDonald's on the way home was $17, and then we had some vending machines snacks should have prepped a little bit more snacks we'll talk about it but I spent $14 on vending machine so food we had budgeted 250 we still stayed within budget at $214 so far we are on budget let's continue and talk about maybe where I under budget a little bit which is entertainment I budgeted $100 we ended up spending $142 total reason being is Great Wolf Lodge is a primarily a water park at least that was my impression but I did not expect me and my older son to get so wrapped up in Magic Quest I knew that it was a thing I knew there was a great possibility we were going to be into it but I did end up spending $62 on the Magic Quest game for him, a topper and a wand for him, and very worth it. I would have to say, to me, the highlight of the trip was really Magic Quest, so don't skip out on that if you have a kid who would be into that and you're going on Great Wolf Lodge trip. Um, so $62, I didn't really expect it to be that much. I bought the stamp, the family, the stamp, F rocks, is the family bag of rocks for $38. You can get individual bags of rocks to like do the sand sifting and they get out, you know, like their special gems and stuff, but an individual bag, $18 or $16 or something, and then the family bag of rocks is 10 pounds. So what I did was I just gave the boys like a fourth of the bag each, and so they were able to do the rock sifting a couple times each on two different days so i felt like it was very much worth it my son did my oldest son did the rock wall for nine dollars obstacle course for seventeen dollars and then both boys did the rock wall again for sixteen dollars so there was a lot of money i definitely could have spent even more than that we really would have wanted to be obnoxious about it but i thought for three nights this was a very healthy mix like i said it was 142 dollars, so we did go over budget but i think we did really well with all of the options and the way that we handled everything shopping we had budgeted 80 we spent 56 i bought two magic quest coins like there's some big coins i'm going to show you guys in another video for the magic quest two coins and cape i bought those because my oldest son worked so hard for literally like 40 hours to complete the magic quest. So I bought him the cape upon completion. I felt like it was worth it. I would not go into that store and just buy all the questing stuff if you do go to Great Wolf Lodge, but I thought it was a perfect like reward be for becoming a uh, master magi, as they say. So over the magic quest, I did get them some little rewards. Little brother got a coin, big brother got a coin, and the cape for completing the quest. Little brother got the coin just because like big brother completed the quest. So then my oldest son did get a bracelet for $9, also from the Magic Quest or Magic Quest store. And TJ Maxx, I wrote this down after the fact because I had forgot about it for a hot minute, but I was going through my receipts and I remembered I did buy the boys slime and so like a squishy ball. We just got off the premises at some point and we went to to just check out the little mall that is there in town it is a very tiny mall but they do have a tj maxx 
both my boys were able to pick out a little toy again it was like a three pack of slime and one of those like really slimy squishy balls for twelve dollars and they played with those in the hotel room so budgeted 80 spent 56 the only unbudgeted and unexpected purchase that I should have expected was it was my mom's birthday on this trip so I spent a hundred and three dollars on gifts for her from the gift shop now I had already brought a gift for her so I did not plan or budget in another gift but once I got there I was like hold on now we cannot celebrate her birthday and not get her something from this actual location like some branded Great Wolf Lodge stuff so I was very happy to buy her gifts it's just I wanted to write it down on here and I wanted to go ahead and include it in our trip budget because for future trips I want to remember that like if it's a birthday trip I need to go ahead and budget in for whatever person's birthday it is I know I'm gonna want to buy from the gift shop from them it just feels like you can't not do that right <laughs> going in to Great Wolf Lodge completely blind never having been before my goal was to spend about one thousand to twelve hundred dollars at Great Wolf Lodge total I ended up spending one thousand three hundred and fourteen dollars so if you take off the gifts if you don't if you consider that more like birthday money and not trip money it would have been one thousand two hundred and eleven dollars so Either way you consider it, I only went above budget about $100, which is amazing. I had a great trip. It was so much fun. Again, we are going to talk about it and I'm going to do a bit of a walking tour and budget video for Great Wolf Lodge very soon. Now going back to the binder and what I wish I would have done because I'm not somebody that tends to travel with cash so again I just like pulled all the money used this card what I wish I would have done though is I wish I would have pulled the money left the card in here and then as I got and then as I got receipts from Great Wolf Lodge I would have put the receipts with it right so like preparation I wish I would have put my receipts here for food I wish I would have had this binder just to slide my receipt in just to keep everything very organized and to know for future trips I think it would have been great to come home especially now that this is not a limited item when I left for vacation I was thinking this was limited in the shop so my intention was to reuse this I'm contemplating now though that it, because it's not limited edition now I might take all of my receipts receipts because I have a big pile of receipts now I am a receipt saver I might take all of my receipts and staple them to the card that they go with like all our entertainment I like to have these kinds of things for to be able to look on so like I'm somebody that likes to frequent the same place over and over so I see I foresee Great Wolf Lodge being like a once a year trip for us possibly so it would be nice to have all of this say together in one spot and then when I'm planning for next year's Great Wolf Lodge I can get out you know have this all and have have this and have all the receipts kind of together and in maybe one Ziploc bag and I will know exactly where I stand with like how much I need to save for that kind of trip does that make sense so that is my only regret with how I handled things should have brought the binder with me for receipt keeping because now I do have this large pile of receipts that I really want to organize. <laughs> But overall, great trip. I will be starting another savings binder for the next vacations. If you're interested in seeing those kinds of videos, of course, stick around and stick around to see where our next vacation is going to be. I would like to do a vacation every quarter and keep this goal of like $1,000 to $1,200. I am starting to save for a house though and take that more seriously. So we will see how the vacations fit into that picture, right? That is it for today's video. I will see you guys again very soon for a cash stuffing and then stay in tune this week for more Great Wolf Lodge videos, tips, budgeting, tours, all of the things. As always, I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.